Hey guys, this is phase one. This is your guide to the new mining subcomponents and some viable mining head builds. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content, so do consider subscribing for more. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or you just want to hang out, you can follow me there as well. My links are in the description below. And without any further ado, let's get started. For those that are new, mining subcomponents are new modules you can install on size 1 and 2 mining nets. These subcomponents apply a passive modifier to your mining head. This means that they do not have charges as opposed to their consumable counterparts. The difference between subcomponents and consumables is that consumables are much more powerful but have a finite set of charges before you need to replenish them. While subcomponents benefits remain as long as you have them installed. Subcomponents can be expensive but are definitely worth it. Subcomponents have multiple tiers up to three. The higher the tier, the more expensive they are, but provide the best benefit. I will not get into the numbers as they may change as CIG continues to develop the game. But make sure to come back to this video as I will provide a link to a spreadsheet that has all the up-to-date numbers in the description below at a later date. These mining subcomponents can be found at the refinery decks in the Lagrange Point stations 1 and 2 throughout the star system. For example, HURL1 and HURL2. Let's quickly go over the available subcomponents. The first subcomponent is the Grey Cat Industrial FLTR series. These reduce the percentage of inert material being extracted at an expense of a slower extraction rate. The Grey Cat XTR series increases the extraction rate with the cost of laser power reduction. The Thermite Concern Focus series reduces the resistance at an expense of an increase in instability. The Thermite Concern Torrent series provides an increase in laser power at a cost of increase in instability. The Thermite Concern Vox series provides an instability reduction, but the drawback is a reduction in the optimal charge window size. The Schumann and Estetta Riger series expands the optimal charge window, which is also referred to as the green zone, with an expense of an increase in a rock's resistance. You can install these modules the same way as you would install consumables. In your Moby Glass, head to your VMA app, select your mining vehicle, select the mining head, and install your new subcomponent. So now let's go through some potential builds for mining heads. For solo miners, the first build I would recommend is picking up a Lancet. A Lancet is good with instability control and resistance reduction, but it has low power and slow to charge. To address the laser power issue, you can install a torrent for laser power increase or a surge consumable. A brand consumable will help with instability reduction, the Riger module for optimal charge window expansion. Up next is the Helix. The Helix mining head slightly reduces instability but struggles with the resistance reduction. The Focus module can help with resistance reduction or the Vox module for an extra boost in instability reduction. You can pick up a Riger to expand the optimal charge window, but can be interchanged with an optimal consumable. The Rhyme consumable can drop the rock's energy level in case you overcharge. Thirdly, you can pick up an Impact. The Impact struggles with instability and overcharge rates, but expands the optimal charge window. To address the instability issue, you can install a Vox module. A Rhyme consumable can drop the rock's energy level in case you overcharge, and a lifeline can reduce the damage from an exploding rock. So now for those that are multi-cooling in an Argo mode, I believe all three mining heads need to have a specific role. The first role is what I call a stabilizer. Here you can pick up a Lancet mining head. You can install two Vox subcomponents to reduce instability, and one Riger module to address the negative effects of the Vox modules. The second row is what I call the safety. Here you can install another Lancet. With that, install two Riger modules to expand the optimal charge window and one Rhyme or a Lifeline consumable to ensure that the crew is safe. And lastly is what I call the purifier. Here you can install a Helix mining head in case you need extra power. 
install two FLTR modules to reduce the amount of inert material extracted and one XTR module to mitigate the extraction rate reduction from the FLTRs. This setup is really good when you find Quantania. I hope this got you up to speed. If you saw anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.